Let's talk about the result against West Brom, first of all. How do you reflect on that result and the game itself? Well, I think we, we managed well the first half and uh, after we just dropped and uh, they take advantage in the second half about uh, the stress that we had and um, the result is, is the result now and we have to keep going and just try to work hard and get some points in the next games. Why do you think Fulham were not able to get that extra goal in the game? Say again, sorry. Why do you think the team wasn't able to get that one extra goal in the game? We, we, we woke up too late, I think. We woke up too late. After 2-1, uh, we start to, to try to play our game and uh, we make, uh, make pressure on them. But I think it, 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 was too, it was too late and the only point that we had to take it was the, the draw. How were the team feeling at full time? Uh, uh, after the full time, yes. I feel uh, disappointed. Disappointed because after the first half, we were thinking that we are controlling the game well. But to be honest, I had this feeling that we should score one, two, three goals to be to be safe. And uh, we didn't. We didn't. We 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 made a mistake in the last last few few meters. And you know, Premier League is Premier League. It's really hard to, to keep the, the score uh, in our advantage. And uh, they did well. They did well. They worked their game. They played their, their game, and they, they drew against us. Good point for us. Bad for one for us. <laughs> you worked under different coaches at Mar uh, Marseille, Juventus, and now Southampton. What's it like working with Scott Parker? He's a he's a good coach. He's a good coach. He got he got some good ideas, and uh, you can see even in the in the last game that in the first half we we play a good a good football, and uh, for for me for me and uh, he's, he was a midfielder. He was a midfielder. And he, he understand well what what I, I want to do on the pitch, and when I'm get, I'm getting frustrated or these kind of things, and he, he manage it well. Uh, I think it's a good point for me to to pass with with him to be with him now right now. Is he the type of coach who can put his arm around you if you need it? Of course, of course. Uh, I, uh, me personally, I talk a lot, a lot of time with him because, uh, yeah, I, I have my personality and uh, he knows it and he, he managed me well. He managed me well and he's a good manager for all the players. You've talked about working hard on the pitch and on the training ground. Can you give us some insight of what you do on the training ground and what you do on the pitch? But honestly, in the last uh, month, uh, it was hard to, to, to work too hard because we had games every three days. And uh, we, we were just work, were working like tactically. It was the most important at the moment. But at the beginning, I, I, I'm telling you, it was really hard. When I came here, it was really hard. You didn't expect that from the beginning, but it was good for me to, to be in shape and uh, to be able to, to, to play in Premier League. How has your game style developed since playing in the Premier League? Uh, what's that mean? Sorry, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, so you're known as a footballer who plays with a lot of flair. Yeah. Um, what is your playing style as a midfielder? Uh, I will tell you, when I was younger, I was one was driving the ball a lot, like with power, powerful uh, midfielder. I'm still, I'm still this kind of player, but I try to, to now to help the team more with the control of the ball, to be calm with the ball with my experience now, and uh, try to manage the game well. And I think, and I recover a lot of ball too, because I'm a number six. And yeah, to, to, to try to, to block all the contra-attacks and these kind of things. How has your game changed from, let's say, five years ago to today? I think uh, I'm more mature now. I'm more mature. I'm not in the rush all the time. And yeah, I think uh, I can yeah, manage well the, the, the game. The, the, the people around me understand when I have, when I, I have to, to put my, my feet on the ball and be calm and, or control the, the game until the last minute, I think. The Premier League has got a lot of defensive midfielders, N'Golo Conte at Chelsea, Declan Rice at West Ham, you as well, and Fernandinho at Man City. What makes a good defensive midfielder? I think the, a good defensive midfielder need to understand the game from the first minute and need to, to manage everywhere around. 
uh, all the, the other players around him because we are in the central in the center of the, of the of the field and we need really to to talk with the other players and to try to to block to block all the the counter attack and the 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 timing of the of the passes of the, the uh, of the opponent I think for me and how important is being defensively aware because the Premier League the game is so quick now so you have to be focused from the first whistle yeah 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 honestly it's really hard to play in Premier League as a number six because Every every strikers or wingers are really fast right now, and all the midfielders are box to box, and they they love to go in to to one box to the other one. Then you have to to manage it and try to to be focused in, from the la from the first minute to the last. Because if so, if you made a mistake, it can be goal for the opponent. Straight straight. How is the team spirit at the moment, particularly because you work quite closely with Harrison Reed and Angisa as well? Yeah, but the, the team spirit is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. We are disappointed because I think we should have more points, and because we are playing like a, a good football, and we defensively, defensively, we are quite good. We are quite good, and we made some silly mistake that now make us in the, in this rank at the moment. But honestly, we, we just have to, to, to work really hard and believe in our, in our strength to, to, to get some point for the, in the last 19 games, I think, or 18 games and be safe in the Premier League. Because you have a player like Mitrovic who can hold the ball up really well. And then you have a player like Bobby Reid who is powerful and very fast running. Is it good to have different types of players in the team at the moment? Of course, yes, yes, yes. We've got a lot of good players. The the thing is that the we we need to have this this chance, this chance to to win games, to to be like for you to be able to see that we got a, a really good team. But at the moment, we we didn't have this luck, this luck to to change the game, and uh, that's that's the that's the that's the only problem because I think we deserve we deserve much more than we we've got at the moment. You joined the team in the summer last year. How quickly did you settle in? But for, honestly, it was hard for me to 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 start with the team at the beginning because I was not uh, fit enough to play. I came I came back with I came here with the, an injury, and I, I I work really hard with the staff to to get in a good shape, and. Um, after that, I played and I've been again injured and, you know, I had a lot of frustration about it. And now I'm feeling really well. I'm feeling really well. And uh, I hope it's going to go well with the time again. So we're halfway through the season now in the Premier League. What's your personal targets for the rest of the season? My main focus right now is to be safe with Fulham because they deserve to be in Premier League last, uh, next year. And uh, I don't have a personal target at the moment. I just think about the team and be safe for, for the next year. And uh, yeah, try to, to enjoy it as, as long as I can here and try to, to be professional and try to help my teammates. That's the only thing that I, I want at the moment. And you love living in London as well, judging from your social media. <laughs> Uh, honestly, honestly, I'm I'm pleased that I knew already London from from uh, years ago because at the moment we cannot go out and this kind of thing. We need to respect the rules. But um, yeah, I, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, let's talk about Lem's Life, your YouTube channel hashtag Lem's Life, which is really good. I like it a lot. Thank you. Um, how did you come up with the idea for your channel? But uh, we, we, we were working about uh, with my, my staff behind, uh, behind the scene and they told me like, your lifestyle is, is pretty, pretty good and you need to, to show to the people that uh, what you're doing in your, in your life and your family, what, what you're doing with your family and stuff, shopping, these kind of things. And I say, well, why not? Why not? And, but the first thing it was like about show to the, the, young, the, young, the young people that Football is not so so easy, and you need to 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 work hard to be where I am at the moment. And 
you cannot like give up so so uh, so quick and just dev you know, to de develop yourself and like uh, had this luck to uh, had this luck to to be like a professional. And just a couple of questions on the game against Leicester. Yep. Um, when you last played Leicester, they won two one. Yep. But there's no Jamie Vardy this time around. How much will that have an influence on the game? Uh, honestly, I didn't know that, but uh, I'm <laughs> I'm sorry for him, but I'm pleased because he's a really good striker. He's a really good striker. He's like one of the best striker in the league, and uh, of course, it's going to be a big change for for them. But we need to 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 still play our game and try to to do the same that we we've done in uh, in the previous game. Because they've got players like James Madison and Harvey Barnes who can score goals. How can Fulham put them under pressure? I think uh, we need to be, um, or, you can, or, you can, I can, or I can say that, to be ourselves, ourselves, and try to be concentrate from the first to the last minute, and just play our game and be like, behave like uh, we can do it, we can do it, and we, we just have to do it to be, to feel better, to feel better at the moment because we are really, really down, and but still we got the really good players and we deserve to to be. In the other part of the of the league, and this is a really good opportunity to get those three points because the next fixtures are going to be just as important for Fulham, right? Of course, of course. We we had the meeting this morning, and we know what we have to do right at the moment, and uh, it's going to pass. It's going to pass through the the next game, and we have to show our character at the moment and just try to 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 give our best, like we we've done the last few weeks. But and we just um, want this luck to turn in our favor now.